Hey you guys, it's -a me, Dudeski, and I'm here to teach you all how to farm bells easily. The best ways to make bells in the past was to spawn farm a certain bug in a mystery island. These were tarantulas if you're in the northern hemisphere or scorpions for the southeast. If you know by now, the devs of the game had nerfed the spawn rates of these bugs which then makes it harder for them to spawn. Of course, you can also resort to fishing, but fishing takes a lot longer than the method that I'm about to show you. Cutscene, boom. Quick note you guys, this method is best used for the Northern Hemisphere Islands and is supposed to be done around the hours of 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Now, you're gonna be wondering, if we finish at 4 a.m., how the heck are you gonna be able to sell your bugs? Of course, obviously you're gonna be holding off till you can sell the bugs you have on the next day, but if you can't wait, you can sell it through the drop box in front of the nooks and cranny store. Although doing this, you'll get about 20% less bells rather than selling it inside. Now, here's a quick list on this screen of the beetles you can potentially catch around these hours and their prices on the nook shop and this list shows you how much you can earn from these beetles if you were to sell them to flick I can't guarantee you when Flick will spawn in your island as it's relatively random when he visits, so just keep an eye out. You're gonna need your iron axe, uh, your iron shovel, a ladder, and a net. Make sure you're wearing your wetsuit as it saves inventory space, you don't have to actually bring it around, and also doing this would eliminate you the need for you to bring a vaulting pole so make sure you wear that All right go to your island's resident services and then from here you can go to the ATM and get yourself a Nook Miles ticket Then after that, head to the airport and visit a mystery island. Inspect the island if you see multiple types of bugs spawning. If it seems like the island doesn't naturally spawn various kinds of bugs, just leave the island and repeat step one. Or if you don't actually want to waste your ticket, loot it for resources, then repeat step one. Quick note, some islands may make it harder for you to spawn bugs depending on how many level of land it has, how big of a lake it has, or generally how big the island is. Personally, the best island to do this method would be an island that only has two levels with relatively small and thin rivers and is relatively small in size. If ever the island you get has three levels, I suggest you leave and look for a better island. So of course, now we're going to be go going around and checking if the island spawns multiple bugs there was one right there um, and then there's another there and then there's another there so obviously this is a good island if the island is capable of spawning bugs now it's time to pick all the flowers
A little side note, you don't actually have to dig out the whole plant itself, just the flower is enough. As you can see here, um, the island is well capable of spawning rare bugs and we actually have one right there. And let's see if we can catch it. After picking up all the flowers, you can just run onto the beach and then drop everything on the sand. Hit all the rocks and gather all the resources you get from it. The important resource from the rocks would be the iron. But you don't need them just yet, so just put them on the beach after you gather them. And also, make sure you do this method just so that you don't slide out. And you can actually hit the rock about 8 times. Quick note, you can actually break the rocks if you want to, but doing so, you don't really get anything from it. Um, you would think that maybe it helps, but it actually doesn't, so might as well just leave it for now. Chop all the fruit, hardwood, or cedar trees, and make sure you leave at least one tree on the first level of the island. Do not touch the palm trees. It's okay guys, um, I really like this look anyways. So we'll just let it slide for now. Dig out all the tree stumps on the second level of the island. You don't really have to dig out the rest on the first level, but if you want to, go ahead. In my experiences though, doing so won't really give you any quicker spawn rates for the rare beetles. So just focus on the ones on the second level. You should now have exactly 5 trees, 4 palm trees, and either one fr fruit tree, hardwood tree, or cedar tree. Keep circling the island and watch out for the beetles that should spawn on the trees that you've left up. Now, you have to note, don't sprint especially if you're near the trees where the beetles can spawn the rarer the beetles are the easier it is to actually spook it um just a side note um all mystery islands can only spawn four bugs at a time if you've noticed that the spawn rates of the beetles had been slowing down it's because there's currently four spawned bugs in the island scare away all the bugs you don't want 
you also have to keep an eye out for these mosquitoes as there's no way nope. to actually scare them away but what i do is actually i nope try to catch him nope 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 it's kind of hard to catch him but i do catch them and then right after i just let them go away hermit crabs also are counted as bugs so make sure you scare them away too they may look like shells sometimes on the shoreline, but sometimes they are hermit crabs. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. When approaching a rare beetle, the rarer it is, the easier it's frightened. So make sure you always approach them from behind and sneak. Running up to them won't do you any good. There are higher chances that you can spook the beetle easier by catching it from the side. Ask me how I know. Also, the reason why I ask you to keep that one fruit, hardwood, or cedar tree is so that when your net breaks, you can actually gather up sticks you need to craft yourself a new net. Just shake the fruit, hardwood, or cedar tree you've left up repeatedly until it drops the sticks you need. And then get some of the iron you have gotten from the rocks that you hit earlier head to the crafting bench right here and then craft yourself a better net of course i'm gonna be giving you guys a montage of what beetles i get to catch so here it goes I decided to cut the palm tree located on this specific part of the island just because it's kind of a hassle for me to get to it and there's not much space here in the bottom for me to actually sneak up on the rare beetle. Oh, by the way, if your island does have a river, watch out for these pesky water bugs since they do count on the island's bug count. And there you go guys, this is an inventory's worth full of beetles that I am able to capture. Of course, there's the Cyclometus, the Scarab, the Weevils, and the Horned Elephants, which are deemed to be somehow rare. But most of the other ones I've gotten, of course, they're not the rarest of them all, but they're good enough. I mean, I'm going to be showing you guys how much all of these beetles are worth in the shop 
the next day just so that you can have a rough estimate of how much you can actually get just off of getting uncommon beetles and some of the rares but yeah of course you can stay a bit just so that you can farm out the rarer beetles but obviously that's gonna be up to you so it's the next day you guys and I'm headed to the shop now you have to remember I didn't get the most rare beetles So there you go guys for around um, 20 to 30 minutes of farming on a single island. Ari gave me around 65,550 bells. Of course I'm not going to be selling all of these because I'm going to be waiting personally for Flick to come to my island. But of course if ever you guys want to actually sell the beetles as soon as you can, go for it. Then again, I also mentioned that if you do have the extra time to stay on the island, make sure you wait for the rarer beetles to spawn in. The longer you wait for them, of course, the better the beetles you get. And some other beetles actually range up to 12,000 bells each. So yeah, there you go. Just repeat the cycle as much as you want and instantly turn yourself into a millionaire. If this had been helpful, please leave a like on the video, comment down below if this had worked for you, and subscribe for more. Step 1. Go to your island's resident services. Oh my god. Shut up.